welcome back to another vlog as you just saw all of those clips were actually from halloween and not just halloween it was my first ever halloween so that was pretty exciting i think for being my first ever halloween that was probably like the best experience that i could have never even asked for like i i had no idea what <laughs> to expect going into halloween like i i didn't know whether there would be a lot of people i wasn't sure if everybody was gonna dress up, now that I see that everybody dressed up, even the parents, I'm thinking to myself like next year, I have to at least put something on. Mm. So yeah, my first Halloween experience was awesome. Wasn't it babe? Yeah, it was great. I have Alan here with me. It's our first time going to Hoboken and like experiencing that. So it was mm -hmm. a, for your first time, I'm happy you got to experience that stuff. Yeah, it was really, it was really fun. And it was fun to do that with Alina. So Halloween was a success. And yeah, now that it's Friday, it is currently 4.30 in the afternoon and Alan and I are about to head out because since Halloween's over, Christmas is beginning. So we're actually gonna go and get a Christmas tree. I know it sounds ridiculous because it's literally the beginning of November. It's the 3rd of November, but I want to enjoy Christmas. I feel like last year, we went and cut down a tree and that was a good experience. I can say that I've done it at least once, but those trees are expensive. Like I think that tree, how much did we pay for that? I think 130. I think it was like 150. Something like that with tax or whatever. Right. For a tree that I'm only gonna have up for 25 days? Like no sir. Well, so we had it more than that. But a little longer, but still like more. I would rather invest in a tree. So today we're gonna go out and get a tree and I'm very excited. And then I don't know if I'm gonna decorate it this weekend, but at least I want to get in early because something that I've noticed here in the US is like, if you don't get in early, you're gonna be sad later. So mm -hmm. I'd rather get in early and find something good than to wait later, even if we don't put up the tree yet, but I'm planning to put up the tree. Hopefully this weekend, we'll see how that goes, mm -hmm. fingers crossed. We are at Home Depot to go look for a Christmas tree. Oh, I can see the Christmas lights already. Dang, that was quick, huh? Yeah, it's like overnight. Oh can, my gosh, look at that. Pretty, yeah. These are huge. Oh, it's, oh, it, it smells lights, nice so. in here. Can you smell that? Yeah, no, it's not pine. this, baby. <laughs> Why do like, you smell it? No, the pine. I can smell it. It's Santa. Oh, that's a huge Santa. Yeah, Which one? Oh, that one? Santa's huge. Dang. Oh, look at the trees, baby. This one's nice. Is this the one? No, that's not it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But that's beautiful. Well, it looks look like at that, it. No? That's a nice full tree, huh? Doesn't it look nice? Oh, wow, it looks like it will last for a long time. Yeah. I think this is it. Oh, it's this one, baby. This is it. Oh, look, they even have as seen on TikTok. Look, they got the as seen on TikTok. Oh, wow. That's when you know. Look at how it's twinkling. The reason why I love this tree is because it reminds me of the trees that we saw in Paris. Just the way that they twinkle. And look how teeny the lights are. There's obviously like different settings and stuff. I would just keep it on like the twinkle. Look how tiny the lights are. Mm -hmm. It's cute, huh? Look at all the Christmas stuff that they have already. And it's like, I feel like they have a lot of stock, but the guy was just telling us that the tree that we want to get is already sold out. But look how pretty this is. This is a nine foot, which is too big for our place, but I just love the way it twinkles. And even like the leaves look really nice too. Like they look very realistic. It's not like the regular Christmas trees where the little leaves kind of like fall off onto the ground. I think this is like mostly plastic. So 
Yeah, I feel like it looks even better in person. It's huge. This knife foot is nice. Mm-hmm. You like it? Yeah. I like the leaves, babe. Yeah. Like the branches look very nice. You can tell it's not going to fall off. Yeah. You know those other ones that you buy, it's like... Yeah. But like the plastic fall. stuff that like falls on the ground. This is not that. But you know what I mean? It's pretty full. I mean, compared to something yeah. like this, there's a lot of empty spots. But look how full this yeah. is. Yeah. And what yeah, sold me on this is the fact that it's so easy to... Assemble. Yeah. Assemble. Yeah. This one's really beautiful. If I was going for that look though, yeah, this is actually was, really nice. It's the same price as ours. So, yeah. Well, the other size. But, but this, this is really nice. And it looks like it doesn't flake as much. Yeah. You can see from the ground, there's really not. Mm -hmm. isn't, it doesn't, it's really maybe pretty. Maybe that's the cheap ones that we see before. Maybe. Look at this. We have, I think this is Jack Frost. Is that Jack Frost? Jack Frost. He okay. looks kind of scary. I was going to ask you, can you figure out who this is? Oh, it says try me. Okay. What's he gonna do, dance? What's this button? Wait, is it on? Oh, I don't think he's plugged in, babe. Oh, what does this do? I don't know. I'm scared. No, he's not plugged in. Is he gonna do the mac Macarena? I don't know. Oh, wow, look at this archway. It's meant mm -hmm. to be like a Christmas bauble. Oh, here's Santa. I remember this from last year. <laughs> May your holiday be filled with cheer and goodwill this year. I have a feeling I know what you'd like for Christmas, but you'll just have to wait and see what oh, gifts wow. await you on that magical morning. Now, shall we add more hey. festive cheer? <laughs> Hurry and grab the garland and tinsel <laughs> for this next song. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Like fully la, singing. La, 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 la. <laughs> the season to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. No, he moved. I thought he just like moved. He goes. It's gonna stop galloping, babe. No, <laughs> oh look. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at him go. Look at him. Look at him. He's walking. My little. Come, come, come. <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he get, he get uh, royalties for this? He must. What does uh, Snoopy do? Is oh, this oh, Snoop? Whoa. Imagine. He did not. MC Hammer. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the? Wow. Babe! Oh, oh. <laughs> Babe! Look at him. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Snoopy. Oh, poor guy. Babe. <laughs> this guy. Oh, the best goodness. part is if you play all of them. No, please don't, my love. Baby, please. They're all gonna fly off. Baby, please. Yippee, our tree is here. I was thinking that maybe they misplaced it or gave it to someone else yay we have our tree and shout out to Ate Myrna for helping us shout out to her yeah she's awesome speak Tagalog she does speak Tagalog she's helped us before oh yeah she did yeah okay let's take this baby to the car so Home Depot was a success as you can tree as you can tree as you can, <laughs> as you can see the tree is in the back <laughs> I'm just so excited to get the tree I was so excited to get the tree I can't talk properly but as you, as you can tree. see the tree is in the back and we actually spoke to one of the workers there and he said that tree in particular has been very popular and is completely sold out so I am so glad that Alan told me to order it online for pickup because like I said it's only the 3rd of November and all the popular Christmas decor items are like out of stock already mm -hmm. so that's something I've definitely learned about here in the US is people don't play about their no. the, the stuff like when something comes out don't wait just get it as soon as you can because best believe that stuff is going to be sold out so how do you feel about this tree baby? No, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Now that you've seen it in person, it's really nice, right? Yeah, it's, I, I knew it was going to look like that, and I like the fact that it's not... You know, when you buy those type of trees, it's like, it's all spaced out. Yeah. And I like this one because it looks really full. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to put it up tonight. We'll see how we go. Right now, we're actually heading out to dinner. We are going to go and have soup dumplings, I yeah. think, because it's, it's actually the perfect weather for it. Yeah. Because it's cold. 
it's freezing today. We're currently experiencing a bit of a cold front that's apparently coming down from Canada. So I have seen that it was like snowing in Canada the past weekend. Um, and now that cold front has made its way here. So that's why we had an 80 degree weekend last weekend, right? Mm -hmm. And then this weekend is like 40 degrees. Yeah, you're right. That, mm -hmm. It was literally 80 last yeah, week. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Now it's back to like the third. Not back, it's in the 30s already. Yeah, really. it's cold. So, yeah, that's what the plan is right now. We're heading out to dinner. And I can't wait because I'm so hungry. Lucky I have a strong husband because <laughs> I could not carry this. Yay! Old man carrying this. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. So, we're currently in our bedroom because Alan and I are going to fix this place up a little bit in terms of we're actually getting a new bed. So, totally random, but we are upgrading our bed. We currently have a queen and we're gonna get a king just because when we went to go stay in the Poconos for Alan's birthday, in that Airbnb was a king size bed and it was really comfy. So we're like, you know what? We should probably invest and it's probably time to upgrade the mattress. Did you know, fun fact, you're apparently supposed to upgrade your mattress every 10-ish years. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to build a frame because we did buy a frame and we also have a new mattress as well, but we have to get rid of our old one. So that's what you guys are gonna see. Us dismantling this, building the new one and then putting the uh, mattress on top. Alrighty, so this is what we currently have. I believe it's a queen size mattress and frame and it's served as well, but it's time for an upgrade. So this is the space, ignore all that mess over there. That's all my stuff that needs to eventually go into like a bedside table, but that's a whole other project in itself. But basically we're gonna get rid of this and put the new one in its place. So you ready, babe? Yeah. All right, let's, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so two hours later, we're finally done with this part of it, putting the frame together. It looks great. Hold on, there's a little piece of styrofoam right here. I need to get that, it's bothering me. It's done. We're both tired, but we still have to put the mattress on, obviously. The good thing about this, the whole reason actually why we got this particular bed frame is because of the storage. So as you guys would have seen, you can lift it up and there is space underneath for storage, which is great. 
So whenever we want to swap out, I mean, I don't really know what we're going to put in here yet, whether it be like alternating season clothes, like jackets and stuff or shoes, but at least we have that option now and that space isn't wasted. That's really handy, but we're going to go ahead now and take the mattress out of the box because we did get a boxed mattress and we're going to let it do its thing and expand and probably make the bed and do the sheets later, but... You ready, babe? Yeah, Someone's cool. tired already. I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> I was outside every day Trying to make it home to you, babe When I get old, it's gonna be amazing When we get it on, it's amazing Let's talk about us if you hear me out They only love me cause they see me get money now Fuck the whole front row at the show if you pay Let it slide down. What are you doing? It's so fucking soft. <laughs> How is it soft and heavy at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's meant to be the other way around though. Because look, the Casper sign's here. So I think that's the top of the bed with the tide. Yeah. You're gonna have to spin it. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Here is the finished product. That was a mission, huh, babe? We insane. struggled, but we got there in the end. And this is how it looks. We're gonna leave it to do its thing and expand. I'm kinda worried about this part here, babe. Why is it like lifted like that? Oh, it didn't fully expand yet. So. Oh, okay. Anyways. Oh, the... does it unzip? Yeah, the whole thing. You could change this, I guess. Really? The outside, yeah. Where's the zipper? Uh, I saw one right here. What the? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It is really comfortable, though. I like, I a built -in condom. <laughs> 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 we're gonna struggle to get up in the mornings because this is oh, like very comfortable compared to our last mattress. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna leave it to expand and do its thing. But for anyone who's curious, about the bed frame and the bed itself. The bed frame, I actually got it on Amazon, believe it or not. I will leave a link for it down in my description box, but it was pretty inexpensive. I think I paid like- It was on sale for like- Yeah, under 300 bucks for this king size yeah. bed frame. I have to double check that, but yeah. And it comes with storage as well. So I'm very happy with that. And then the mattress is a Casper mattress. So, yeah, looks good so far. I'm gonna put all the bed sheets on it later, yeah. but for now, we're gonna leave it to do its thing. And I think. Yeah, this needs to expand some more. Yeah, we're gonna go get something to eat. We're gonna go out for lunch in the meantime. Good job, babe. Starbucks and we're getting festive and we got a Christmas drink. How cute are the Christmas cups this year? It's crazy, it's Christmas time. Yeah, right? It's crazy. But we got, um, what did I get? A caramel brulee latte and a gingerbread loaf. Let me see this. Oh, that's thick, babe. Look at it. I thought, it, I thought they accidentally put two slices it in it. It looks like there's two of them. No, it's just one. Jeez. All right, let's try. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Mm, you would like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is the caramel one? Yeah. Caramel brulee? Yeah. yeah you like good. it? It's nice, huh? It tastes like both. It's pretty good. Good choice. 
try that. That's good because it's, it's warm, right? Mm, it's nice. Thicker than a snicker. Cheers. two koalas and it says you and me i'm so surprised to see that here is that me yeah this is you and this is me like they have a passport on and it actually is like stamped that looks That's, legit looks right legit. i'm like where's the biographic page actually the quality too right it feels it's like a real passport quality. does someone leave this here <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny it's really wow. cute though look at the bacon strip <laughs> Whiskey, yeah. Oh, look at this one, babe, with the ramen. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's cute. It's Bob Ross. Oh, that's so cute. You know, fun fact, and it's really sad, is that the family don't get the money. Yeah, Anything I remember under. seeing that. Somebody was it a documentary else? you watched? Yeah. Yeah. And Netflix. That was sad. Someone owned his name they took his royalties don't even want to give a share yeah that's sad so the stuff that we grew up with can't even get you know yeah. compensated for it oh my goodness look at Voldemort oh wow oh Grogu that's cute that is cute Buddy the Elf oh <laughs> and Groot yeah the ornaments, yeah, they're ornaments. Oh, wow. aren't they cute oh, really? Skeletor let's see Oh wow, ranch. not the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coma hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. So, as you saw, Alan and I just had a quick little breakfast at Starbucks, and today is our errand day. So, we're gonna go and run our weekly errands, grocery shop, and all of that. But first things first, today we're actually gonna go to our storage spot to drop off some things and also pick up our Christmas decorations because I had been planning to put up the Christmas tree Friday night, last night, but I was just tired and then last night I had a headache, like I just wasn't feeling it. So hopefully today I will have some time to do that, but we figured since we're out and we're dropping things off at the storage, we may as well go and pick up the Christmas decorations while we're there. And then I think after that we're gonna go yeah, grocery shopping. shopping yeah so that's what the plan is for today apologies that last night was like kind of uneventful after we got home what did we do yesterday i worked and you took a nap yeah like i just had a bad headache so i was on the couch just chilling but yeah today we got to be productive and get our errands done about to do our weekly grocery shop and you already know we're going to Aldi. I'll never get over the fact that they call these cuties. Like even though it says mandarins, everybody calls them cuties. Cutie mandarin? Isn't that cute though, babe? Yeah. Look at it. Aww. Look at the little zipper. He looks so happy. This little girl, we sent you home and you're back again. So this kitty has decided to come back. I actually just gave her some food. Um, but I'm not the only one who gives her food. I spoke to the neighbors and they actually feed her too. But I do know who she belongs to. So I think she just likes to come and wander around and hang out here sometimes. Oh, you gonna have a little bit of a sunbathe? I don't even know her name. I should text the neighbor and ask. I am finally gonna put together the Christmas tree. And yes, this is the TikTok viral or viral TikTok Christmas tree that everybody is purchasing at the moment and I mean it did cost a pretty penny but from now on this is it like we're not buying a new Christmas tree for 10 years because I'm serious babe like I'm not buying another Christmas tree this is it so it was an investment okay I'm gonna go ahead and open this and put it together and hopefully it lives up to my expectations 
Feeling that it's hot on me, I like to get it poppin' But these bitches in my business call me on church using violence If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet You know I'm scared, I'm the lowest of the lowest Crazy, you can keep it, let nobody know it's me This is even better in person than it was like in all the videos that I saw, but it does have the option for multicolored lights, as you can see, as well as warm white. But for me personally, I'd just keep it on the warm white and it does have this option for like a slight twinkle. And the whole reason why I liked it so much in the first place is because the way that this tree was twinkling really reminded me of all the Christmas trees that Alan and I saw when we went to Paris. So that was probably another big reason why I like this tree and just the ease of putting it together. That literally took me 10, like less than 10 minutes to put together. Didn't have to wrap any lights on it. And it looks great. Don't you think, babe? Yeah, it looks great. I could probably like fix up some little bits here and there, but for the most part it's very full. Mm -hmm. And for any reference, oh, see the way it's twinkling? Isn't that so yeah. pretty? It's currently just automatically going through its little own little light show right now, but it does come with a remote. I just have to go to the store to get some batteries because I didn't realize that it doesn't come with its own batteries. So should have thought of that in advance, but I'm going to quickly head out to the store to get some batteries for it. But I think this was well worth it. And because we got it so early, I'm just going to keep it up from now until Christmas because why not? Okay, you are not allowed to climb that tree, whatever you do. So I just went to the store and picked up some batteries. So now the remote works and look how pretty the tree looks, the way it's twinkling. But this is so handy because having to plug in and unplug the cable into the power outlet all the time is so annoying. So now I can literally turn it on and off and go through all the different settings and stuff. Let me see color oh okay this one's my favorite though just the twinkle i think it's gonna look even prettier at night time and i did also go ahead and put the tree color around the, the bottom as well so yay it actually looks real don't you think babe mm -hmm. like low-key it looks like a real I mean, tree the leaves are but like not the way it's like perfect it's, yeah it's like really uh how can i say this it's like a lot more it's really full it's really full yeah the way that it looks perfect <laughs> that's not how real trees be looking yeah. but like these little um tips do look like a real tree but i didn't realize that it has these like you know the ones that come with regular trees the little plastic bits that you can bend and twist i didn't realize it has those like more towards the middle as a filler which i don't mind because you can't even really tell the difference to be honest I mean, like, you can if you look at if you look at it up close, but from here, it actually looks pretty close to a real Christmas tree. I just wanted to point out that I also like how tiny the lights are. They're not like too big and obnoxious. They're just like really tiny, which make them look more delicate, and it looks really pretty when it twinkles. So, well, I like the yeah, the, uh, you don't have to buy one every year yeah <laughs> it's really expensive yeah chopping down a tree i realized last year is very expensive and it doesn't even last forever so i feel like investing in a good quality one will actually save you more money in the long run so yeah very happy with this purchase <laughs>